Well, oh my gosh, this is a fantastic day around here. And we're gonna going to kick things off on this wonderful day on a really high note, where our first guest has had an incredible year from the coveted stage at Grand Ole Opry to a familiar stage right here at Red Rocks at Grizzly on Friday night. You could dance the night away. The fabulous William Beckman is here. OMG, how Claudia, are you? how are you doing? It's good uh, to see you. Viewers may not know this, but William and I go way back. We do. Yes. We do. We're both from She gave Rio, me voice Texas. lessons. I not, did. Uh, not a lot of people know that, but it's true. <laughs> I did give him voice lessons. Do you remember my two-story house? Yes. Is that where you I don't remember. I, don't I was remember in high where... school. You and... were in high school, yeah. Both living in Del Rio, Texas. Yes. Fast forward. We're in Denver now doing completely amazing things. This is so fantastic to have you. Well, thank you all for having me. You still look like you're in high school. Uh, well, that's a good thing. You got to <laughs> hold on to that thing. as long as I can. That is absolutely <laughs> true. Well, look, 2023 has been a big year for you, William. Are you having fun? What have been the highlights? I love it. Um, you know, we just did the Grand Ole Opry. We did yeah. it uh, twice now. We did my debut in um, March, and mm -hmm. then I just did it again. And I'm scheduled to do it again in October. So it's great they keep in inviting me back. Uh, yeah. We did that. Of course, we're doing Red Rocks with, with my friends Parker McCollum and the Randy Rogers Band, yeah. which, is, uh, which is a dream come true. So it's just, you know, everything you know as well as I do. I've, I've been trying to do this for, uh, for a long time. So it's nice to be doing yeah. it. Yeah. If you are doing it, and you've done very well. I mean, your music is awesome. Let's talk about that sure. and your latest album. How did you come up with the album, the sound? Has that been a working process for you? Yeah, we wrote a bunch of songs for it, and uh, the name of the album is Here's to You, Here's to Me, mm -hmm. and um, it's finally out, which is awesome. It, it takes a lot, it takes a lot to, to record all the songs and mm -hmm. write them, so when, when, when it's all said and done and it's all finished and it's out there it's a kind of a relief but yeah I'm, I'm excited we've been touring it and promoting it that's wonderful do you ever hear the album and say uh i think i could have done that different or later on you invent different things as as you move not forward? really to be honest <laughs> the whole pro the whole process takes so long that by the time yeah. it's out there i've heard it so many like so many times and i'm like True. i'm just i'm ready to be done with it and move on to the next album so i'm glad the fans i'm, I'm glad it's new for them and uh, they're starting to sing the songs back to us live, which is the coolest. Like that's probably the, the, the coolest part of it is to, to let them be out there and let the fans live with it. And then yeah. you go play them live and they know all the words. Absolutely. Now, we are actually both from Del Rio, Texas, and I love that you tie that into your music. A lot of it comes from your upbringing, and I know that as well as you. How do you do that and, and, and why is that important to you? Well, I think it's always important to tell people where you're from. Mm -hmm. And being a Texan, you know, Texans uh, take a lot of pride in being from Texas. But uh, whatever town you're from or whatever city, I think it's, it's important to, to, to wear that on your sleeve. And uh, Del Rio is such a fascinating little town. And yeah. Radney Foster, who's also from Del Rio, mentored me for a long time. And he always told, told people on stage that that's where he's from. So I don't know. It's, it's yeah. the whole um, being on the border and singing in Spanish. I know you yeah, sing in Spanish, too. Yeah, we grew up too. with I mean, that It's just stuff. such a unique... Uh, place to be from, and and uh, and I like telling people that because it it kind of I like to believe it makes you stand out a little bit. It absolutely does. There's some talent coming out of Del Rio, Texas. Now you are touring throughout the country. Are you doing your warm-up vocals? I are am, you doing of your raspberries? course. Are you kidding me, <laughs> honey? <laughs> do you do raspberries? A spoon, a spoon, uh, a spoonful of honey, sure. And then I do all the the Never vocal fails. trills. Uh, yeah, you yeah. can ask my band. I'm on the bus annoying them, but uh, hey. I, yeah. Got to do gotta it. Got to do what you got to do, right? Well, the stage at Red Rocks is a high for so many artists. It's a sold-out show. It is. Gotta love Randy Rogers. Him and his crew are also just fantastic. But Friday night, you will be at Grizzly Rose. I'm bringing out a bunch of friends. I hope so. so. It's it's our first time headlining in uh, in Denver, yeah. so we're we're hoping it's a it's a good turnout and everything. Well, the Mile High City is happy to have you. It's William Beckman, and by the way, uh, we're going to have you back a little bit later on okay. in the show. We're going to play the Coco Nine with you. Okay. So get ready for that. We're going to have nine random questions, and then we're going to test your memory. Okay, okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, everyone. Well, make plans to be at Grizzly Rose. That is this Friday night. And of course, if you want to get those tickets and come out, hang out with me and the crew, you can do so at grizzlyrose.com.
as promised, country star William Beckman is back with us to play a little Coco 9. William, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, this is like nine random questions. I'm just going to shoot them out, and you're going to answer okay. so we get to know you a little bit. All right, ready? Here we go. Number one, best concert you ever attended? B.B. King. Nice. Yes. Number two, worst subject in school. That was Del Rio High School, by the way. Math. Really? Yes. I was so bad terrible at math, Terrible at math. Too. Anything math-related numbers, I was bad. I'm terrible at math, too, and science. Okay, best fast food you could not live without. Whataburger. Yes, Texas. I knew it. We've got some Whataburger fans in do, the do, house. Do, do, do they know what Whataburger is? Oh, yeah. Okay, Did cool. you know that Colorado Springs has five Whataburgers? I didn't know that. We have no, not okay. gotten one here in Denver, so, yeah, take that as a hint that we need a Whataburger. Uh, prettiest place you've ever been? Oh, wow, that's a hard one. Um, <laughs> that is a hard one. We were in Three Forks, Montana not too long ago. I saw Ooh, your post. Yeah, it was beautiful out there. Was it? Mm -hmm. Montana is beautiful. Okay, an instrument you wish you could play aside from the guitar? Probably the saxophone. Yeah, it's a sexy one. That's a sexy instrument. That is a sexy instrument. Okay, your go-to karaoke song? Uh, My Way by Frank Sinatra. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's a weird one, but it's like I like doing all the old school crooner stuff because you can't really yeah. do that on guitar. So when and you have the whole backtrack of it, you know, it's, it's cool to do. Do you ever randomly do that at your shows or no? Uh, no, I, I never do any of those songs, <laughs> but I mean, there's times I do karaoke. That would uh, be I'll admit awesome. It. That's fun. Uh, the last series you binged? George and Tammy. George and Tammy. Yeah, yeah, it's a new series that uh, George Jones and Tammy Wynette. Uh, I need to yeah, see that. It's really good. Okay, I'm gonna check that out. Uh, and when was this picture taken? And let's pull up that picture, see if you know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even know when uh, that was. Time and place. Was it, is that in Del Rio? Yes. Um, like the one cool hangout. Come on, William. White Horse. Is that the White yes. Horse Lounge? That's white the White Horse, Horse Lounge. Lounge. Look at you. <laughs> I think this is when you were starting your music career, wasn't it? I, I, I used to play there all the time. That's right. Okay, uh, this is throwing it back to 2017. Okay. Is the, is the last time My I probably goodness. saw you in person. Time flies when you're having fun. Look at your hair. I know, it was long and It shaggy. was long. Oh, my goodness. But, yes, that was back in 2017. Okay. Tell us real quick about your performance on Friday night because tickets are still available at Grizzly Rose. Yes, Grizzly Rose. Uh, it's our first time headlining here in Denver, and we couldn't yeah. be more excited. I've got a lot of family coming in for, uh, for the show, so uh, I hope to see people there. Awesome. William, it was a pleasure to have you here. Thank oh, you. my God. Always good to have people from back home and seeing them do amazing things. Uh, we love you here at Coco, and we are wishing you nothing but success Thank for you, your Claudia. future. Thank you, Claudia. Absolutely. Okay, everyone, be sure to check out William Beckman, and he's got his album out right now on all music platforms. And, of course, that is called Here's to You, Here's to Me. And we'll see you Friday night at Grizzly Rose. Get those tickets now, grizzlyrose.com.